As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, good morning, and welcome to our Monday devotion, the 23rd day of March in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2020. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. My dear friend, let us share the gospel of the day. Go, your son will be well. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 4, verses 43 to 54. At that time, Jesus departed from Samaria to Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, having seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they too had gone to the feast. So he came again to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And at Capernaum, there was an official whose son was ill. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and begged him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Jesus therefore said to him, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, Go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and went his way. As he was going down, his servant met him and told him that his son was leaving. So he asked them the hour when he began to mend. And they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. The father knew that was the hour when Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he himself believed and all his household. This was now the second sign that Jesus did when he had come from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of our Lord. My dear friend, today we enter into the fourth week of Lent. And as we continue to reflect, and especially during this time of the corona epidemic, I want us to know that God is with us. Sometimes we may not see whatever it is that he is doing, but he is with us and he will never ever leave us unattended. A story is told of a boy who was in the house and at some point the house caught fire. So the, we, the, the smoke was billowing from the house. And he was trying now to get out of the house. And he shouted for his dad to come for his rescue. And he called the, the dad to come and rescue him saying, Dad, come, I am getting burnt here. And then he heard the voice. The dad said, my son, jump. I'll hold you. 
The son said, no, daddy, I am afraid. I don't know what I will do. The dad told him, no, my son, jump. I can see you. Do not be afraid. And eventually, the son jumped and he landed in the hands of his dad. And he got himself saved. My dear friend, on this Monday, and as we continue to uplift each other, and especially this time that we are facing almost a 100% lockdown in various countries of the world, I want us today to reflect on two things. Number one, let us have faith in Christ's words. Today's gospel passage says in verse number 50, the man believed what Jesus said to him and left. My question is, you, my dear friend, do you believe in the words of God? Do you take him at his words? Today he is telling us, do not be afraid. In fact, I want us to listen to the words of the dad telling his son, my son, jump, you are saved, I can see you. My dear friend, Many a times we may not see where God is or even what he is doing. But he is telling us, my son, my daughter, jump. I can see you. I will hold you. Word number two. His word makes us better persons. You know, during epidemics, sometimes we may want to do things that we feel they are okay in our lives. Sometimes we want to try maybe even black magic because maybe we think that uh, nothing is working. When we follow the word of God, it makes us better persons. Today, more than ever before, whatever it is that we are asking from the Lord, he will grant unto us. If we follow him, take him at his word in prayer and in penance. I can assure you for a fact, we are going to be better person. In fact, I am convinced that Corona and beyond Corona, post-Corona, we must be, we must be better persons. A better nation, a better church, a better, better families, and better human persons, individually and collectively, knowing that it is not true that we will sink with this tragedy. If we keep on listening to what he's telling us, my son, you will be well. My daughter, you will be well. And I want us to listen to this. And he's telling us as a country, Kenya, you will be well. And I believe that as a country, it shall be well. Let us listen to him. Let us jump. He will hold us. Let us not panic. There are so many people trying to instill a fear in us. Let us not panic. He is telling us, I will hold you. You are safe. Kenya, you are safe. The church in Kenya, you are safe. Family members, you are safe. It shall be well. Thank you. Let us pray. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, we pray, O Lord, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal through Christ our Lord. Renew your people within and without, O Lord. And since it is your will that they be unheeded by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. My dear friend, do have a productive Monday. Asante sana.